Hey everyone, so we've had a lot of questions about how chording works um, with a caracorder, which I often mispronounce as caracorder. So um, I thought I'd put together this demo. So here's the device right here. It's, it's a little bit hard to shoot on camera. So I've mounted my camera on a tripod and then set it up on some yoga blocks and it's it's over on, on top of the uh, peripheral here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a little bit about um, what typing on, on the device actually feels like and looks like. Now, um, I've only been doing this for four weeks, so I'm not the fastest typer, but uh, here we go. So um, for each of these silver knobs, and there's two on the thumbs, and then one for each of your main fingers, um, pushing it up, down, left, or right will, will yield a character or punctuation mark. Um, and so we might say north, south, east, or west when we talk about the 3D press in a few minutes. Um, so to type cat, I go down with my thumb tip, I go left with my index finger, and then I go down with my index finger. And you can see um, C-A-T like that. <clears throat> and so, um, you also have like enter and space, uh, tab, things like that are, are also in, in here, as well as things like shift um, are in these pinky controls. And um, the way that it's laid out is that your most common used letters are in your best fingers in the best directions and your least common used stuff is down in the hardest to 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 do things. So like your, your X and your Q is your, your middle thumb here. Um, it's, which isn't too bad. Uh, actually, I think the hardest one is Z, which is the my left. I'm I'm right-handed, so it's my left hand down um, right here. Uh, but it, it's it's totally dual. <clears throat> so that's typing. Pretty straightforward. Um, pretty straight forward. So so there you can see character entry. Now with cording, um, cording is where you press multiple keys in multiple directions at the same time. And at first this sound, this feels and sounds really crazy, but after you get used to it, it's actually quite simple. Uh, if I want to do the chord for the, and I do T and E together, which is this finger down and this finger down, I get the. As long as I bring the keys down at the same time and release them at about the same time, that works. And some chords are, are longer. So I have the chord for could is C-O-U in, in my dictionary. Um, and uh, let's see, sentence. Okay, so here's one where it's S-E-N-T-E-N-C. Um, -E -E it's actually five um, five letters. So you can see I can, I can hit all those at the same time. And so you start to memorize these various chords. There's almost, here's begin, um, there's question between so um in a, in a, in just like a very in a very small motion you can hit a chord now if you if you screw it up you you're you're left with something on your screen like that that you're going to have to delete but as you practice you get pretty good at it um what was i even trying to go there i was trying to do could again could should i have a, i have a hard time with should um would couldn't um so there you go that's cording. Now let me show you what, what these chords actually look like. And for this, I'm going to go into Launchpad Learn, which is the custom um, Caracorder software. And what this does is it shows you, here's a, a key map of the device, and it gives you words to do and, and asks you to train for them. So as you're as you're practicing um, and memorizing these things, you, this is one of the ways that you can do it. So here's men. I got to go M, E, and N together, um, and you can see uh, various things. Now this is a difficult chord. Different. It's I, and this is actually a diagonal press D and F, which is down, as in down into the device, not like south. Um, at a diagonal, it's um, it's quite challenging to do your first time. Night, um, you can see, so I, I, I accidentally uh, did the wrong thumb there. I, I pushed with the base of my thumb instead of the tip. Um, and I don't know if you noticed, but uh, on that one I had screwed it up, but then when I went back and actually successfully executed the the chord, um, it, it took this, this gibberish and it actually deleted it um, and just replaced it with uh, the um, the proper one. So did, maybe you saw that there. It was get and then it was get. 
Um, here said, I didn't like the default chord. I found it like, ah, oh, I had a hard time with it. So I actually made it just SD, much easier. And since I'm an author, um, this comes up a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot for me. So I wanted it to be one of the easiest things to do. Um, said is probably the most common word. To program these chords, um, there's a chord library. Let me switch screens for a second. I'll show you what that looks like. All right, so, th so this is Chord Manager. Chord Manager, um, you want to access it in your Chrome browser. I was using Brave, so I had to pause the uh, the video for a second um, because you have to connect your device and Brave doesn't support the API to connect it. Um, and I'm going to download all the chords in my device from my library so you can see them in, in here. And it's a little bit of developer speak, but uh, I'll teach you how this works in a second. So here's that chord said that I was talking about. And basically what I did is I um, I hit a button, which is now at the bottom of the screen that says add a new chord. I typed in the new phrase said in this box here, and then I hit edit chord and I and I did the SD keys at the same time. Boom. Um, and it listened to what it what the device said and it created this pattern for me here. So anything that you do on the device when you hit edit chord, it'll put in there. And um, and then you need to commit it to the device, which actually sends that information permanently to the firmware. So it's stored there. So if I plug this into my Mac, um, I still have all these same chords. And so every combination of letters has only one output. People is always PL. There's no like AI here. It's not learning. Um, this is actually you as a user making those decisions. So you can decide, hey, I'm a developer. I use the word function a lot. I'm going to have it FN. Um, whereas me, I may not need FN to be function. Maybe I need that to be a different word um, that comes up a lot more in, in my uh, case or some, something like that. So so this is completely up to you. Um, you do start with a chord library of the most common 300 chords. And I, nope, sorry about that beep. And I am actually, um, I'm working on a philosophy of how to build out your chord library, how to think about creating consistency so that the chords are easy to remember. Um, and easy for the hands to do in various combinations. Um, so like you saw earlier in my demo, could, should, and would all being something O-U, S-H-O-U, C-O-U, um, and couldn't, shouldn't, wouldn't, C-O-U-N, uh, W-O-U-N, S-H-O-U-N. So I think that having a smart plan for how you build your personal chord library is part of a factor in really mastering this device. And it's something that the community is going to help um, everybody kind of learn and, and you can also download and share these libraries so I could export my library and share it with you. Now if I had a password in here as a chord I of course probably wouldn't want um, to do that. I don't have that um, right now but uh, you know you may have you know, may may want to put your your name, your address, your phone number, other things as chords so just keep that in mind if you plan on sharing your library. I think in the future they might put in a flag where you can make um, some things not export uh, uh, we'll, we'll see that's been a feature request. So